What is up, my beautiful people? It's your girl Brianna Becker going with another banger for you. Mama party girl, she just wanna have fun. In today's video, I'm going to be making Cheerios. Cheerios. I don't, I haven't. I've never ate them before. I never tried them before. So I don't know. But I was going through TikTok and I found this guy was making them. And he was making very simple all the ingredients that he was using. I had them at home, so I was like, why not? But before I even get to before I even get into this video, if you're new, welcome. My name is Brianna. Hit the subscribe button so you can join our family because our family's lit just like that. And that's on what? Period. Thank you very much. So you guys, let's hit our goal of 500 subscribers. Y'all already the drill. We're trying to hit 500 subscribers by the end of this year. So if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button and let's join the family. Family. Yes, sir. So I haven't been cooking with Brianna in a minute, so I'm happy that I'm in this kitchen doing this because I haven't done a cooking with Brianna in a hot minute. So I bring a special guest today, my little apron, my apron, period, my apron, yes sir. Y'all ain't coming at me. I got an apron, y'all ain't coming at me, y'all ain't coming at me, y'all ain't coming at me. So I got my apron, I have to try to tie this now. Look at this. Okay, so I'm doing this. Um, so basically Cheerios, it's from Disney Disneyland. Like if you go to Disney World, you can find them there. Uh, when I went to Disney World, there was, I saw a lot of people getting them. I never got them. I never got them, surprisingly. But yeah, so he made them really easily. Like I found this one recipe that I was using vanilla extract. I don't have vanilla extract. So I, I didn't think I was going to make it. But the ingredients he used was sugar, butter, um flour water and he used cinnamon obviously with some more sugar so before we get to the video like i said before hit that subscribe so you can join the family so let's go ahead and get started let's get started shall we okay thank you very much so over here i got all my ingredients you guys can't even see but that's okay this, this is gonna be a setting because my tripod is broke so i really can't move the camera or whatever so i have my pan to put the butter in i have my flour. This is the butter I'm gonna be using. I have my sugar, not sugar, my um salt, because he said to use a little bit of a little bit of salt. I have a cup of water, and then I have my sugar. It's inside of this roasted coffee thingy thing, but it's trust me sugar, okay? So yeah. So he said put one and a half cup of butter. Then he said put some um. What's that thing called? Sugar. Then um, put our water and let it boil. And then when you let it boil, you put the flour inside, you mix it, and you have to add eggs or something. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the stove. Hopefully y'all can see me. Y'all can see me, right? I'm putting this camera for, for professionally. Professionally. Thank you very much. So, I'm going to let the pot get hot a little bit. But while it's getting hot, I'm going to go ahead and get my butter ready. So he said to add a cup, a half a cup of butter, half a cup of butter. So I have my, y'all already know, y'all already know. Around this cooking thing, we don't use no measurements. We don't use no measurements. Why? Because I don't have any measurements. And I guess what I'm gonna use is what I'm gonna use. What I'm gonna use. What I'm gonna use. I guess I'm gonna use a spatula. I have my spatula here, and I'm just gonna take a spatula. Spoon fill of Cheerios. Can I can pass the food into the Cheerios. So I got my spatula spoon filled. I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna let the. I'm gonna let it boil first. Not boil, but I'm gonna let the stove get a little bit hot because there is water in the stove. Only because I didn't. I didn't completely take the water out. I don't know. So we're gonna go ahead and add our butter. And then what is this he said to add? Add butter, add sugar. That's what he said again. Why are you cracking it for? We didn't, we didn't get started yet, buddy. So I'm adding half a cup of sugar. Half a cup of sugar. Can y'all see that? Yeah. I am probably might not add all of it because it's just... I'm going to try to let the butter melt a little bit. I'm going to say this. If you use my channel, subscribe. Because as you can see, as you can see, we like to have fun. We like to bake. Even though I'm trash at baking, but we like to do it. 
So, I hear sizzling. I'm going to add my water. I might not add all of it though, low key. I don't know if mine's supposed to look like this or not. Wait, I think it is. Okay, you're gonna get your, your flour ready. I think I'm gonna use a just. I think I'm gonna use a half a cup of flour only because I don't want to like make sure. Cause it's not like. Mm. I'm gonna put the video up here. Y'all see this video? Yeah, that's the video I'm looking at. That's what I'm using to like to make these. So I guess after this, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this put these stuff away. And when this is ready, I'm gonna get back to you guys, okay? You guys, so it's been boiling for like a good 10 minutes now, and I had to make sure that it was like dissolved, dissolved. So I turned off the stove, but it's still hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and y'all. It's done boiling. Like literally everything is done. I'm if you can see it. Y'all can't really see it. But it's done boiling, so what I'm going to do now is add in the flour. I already measured it. I added a half a cup and a half, like, so basically a full cup, basically. So I'm not going to add all of it all at once, just in case it's too much. But I'm going to add in some of it. And then I'm going to mix it. Okay. So I see where it's where we're going with this. But it's obviously chunky. I think I, was, I, was, I think I was supposed to wait for it to cool down. I'm adding the rest of the flour. I'm just waiting for the cold to start burning. Okay, boom. Mine is needed. Mine is needed. Y'all, if y'all, if y'all catching up to this, if y'all a real OG, y'all was subscribed since like last year. Y'all should know that my baking skills are not that good. Y'all should know that. My baking, my baking skills are not up to par. Like, they're really not. So, if this goes well, if this really goes well, sis, calm your chef. Let me stop. So, this is how it's looking. It's looking like how it's supposed to be looking. Like, this is the texture it's supposed to be looking, basically. Because the man's, that's how his was looking. I'm gonna put it in this plate just so it can cool down faster. I'm gonna put it in the freezer real quick. This is obviously not a lot. Like, I don't know if you guys, this is not a lot. Like, it's actually a good amount, but I don't want to make a lot and then my, I end, it end up going wrong. And it's really, and it ends up being not as good as I expected it to be. So, I'm gonna taste it. The dough is good, I guess. I can taste a lot of flour though. But I can taste the sugar also. So I guess it's good as for a I don't know, for a first timer. So make sure you get all everything, everything from this pot, make sure you get it. Everything. Cause you're not wasting no dough around here. No ma'am. Okay, so I don't know if I should put this in the freezer or if I should put this in the under the air the air vent or whatever. But I'm going to go ahead and put it under the air vent just because I don't want this to actually get solid. Child, I'm going to put it under the air vent. Voila! It's under the air vent. So while we're waiting, I'm going to wait at least um, a good 10 minutes. So at 6 o'clock, it's 5 5 5.50 right now. So at 6 o'clock, I'm going to get back to you guys. But for right now, I'm going to wash the dishes and clean the kitchen a little bit. And yeah. All right, y'all. So the time that is right now is 5.58. We missed one more minute, but it's okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and get my churros. It's right here. Ugh, it's not done. It's, it's so hot. I don't feel like waking. So, what we're going to do is, um, even though the man said to wait dramatically, wait, like, wait till it's, like, cool down. Child, I don't care. I don't got no time. I don't got no patience. I'm just trying to eat because I'm hungry. Okay? So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, we're going to use this bowl. Only because I don't feel like watching big dishes anymore. So you use this bowl, put your little mixture in here, and we're gonna take three eggs. That's what the man said. But I'm gonna use two eggs. I have my mixture here. Go ahead and put it. Y'all can't see nothing. I'm sorry, y'all, but my tripod broke, so it's kind of hard for me to like find good, good angles in this kitchen. It's really not hard, but you know. Voila. 
So we're gonna add our batter, our batter. We're gonna add our eggs in. Add one egg. I think I might add one egg because only because I don't have a lot of stuff in here. So the man had a big batch, like a lot. Yeah, I think I'm gonna add one egg for sure. Here is our egg. Can y'all see it? Now we're gonna chop, chop, chop the squid. Chop, chop, chop the squid. Chop, chop, chop the squid. This is for my father. Chop, chop, chop the squid. Chop, chop, chop the squid. Chop, chop, chop the squid. This is for my father. Now we're gonna mix. Mix, guys. Oh, this looks disgusting. Let me show y'all how this looking, because this looks disgusting. Do y'all see this? Yeah! This looks nasty. Is this supposed to be like this? Okay, so I found an angle, but you can't really see me in this angle, so... I guess this is what we're going to have to do. But, it looks nasty. Like, if I would add more eggs, it would have been even more disgusting. But good thing I only added one egg, because... Yo, this batter is like... Like not mixing very well. I probably should have read it, shouldn't I? Alright, y'all. So now that we got our batter, a very liquidy batter, what we're gonna do now is um take we're gonna take a pan, okay? I have my little pan here. Yeah, we're gonna take a mess. We're gonna take a pan, rinse your pan, put it on the stove, okay? Put it on the stove. Let it get hot a little bit. Let it get sizzling. And then you're going to add your oil. After you add your oil. Whoa. Almost fell. We have a vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. <laughs> we have our vegetable oil. I'm going to. Okay. I'm gonna leave this in the freezer for a little bit just so it can get a little more thick, maybe. I don't know. While um this one, this one over there is getting hot. So let me go add this in the freezer. Cause I don't know, I don't see nothing happening. I, I, all right, y'all. So now that the pot is like not pot, but the pan is hot. We're gonna wanna I have to put it down because it's getting really hot. I don't know how much oil you're supposed to add, but um I'm gonna add a little bit. I don't wanna add too much, but basically you're gonna have to fry it, if you know what I mean. So I don't wanna add too much oil, I just wanna add enough to where it gets fried. So that's what you wanna do. If you have one of them little air fryers, whatever you have, the little rich people stuff, go ahead and use that, but I'm using my little pan, all right? The, the, the original way, the broke people way, okay? So I have to be very careful because I don't wanna drop one on the stove. You want to add a little bit, a little, put it a little bit higher, put it at least to medium or like, yeah, put it on medium. So we're going to wait for our um, thingy thing to get hot. But while it gets hot, I suggest you guys get a pipette. While the stove is getting hot, you guys will need a little pipette or the little things that you use it. I'm broke, so I just made my DIY pipette. <laughs> yeah, I really don't know why I'm calling it a pipette, but every time I say pipette, just know I'm talking about a piping bag, you know, the little piping bags. I don't know why I'm calling it that, but I basically mean a piping bag. <gasps> oh my god, that sounds so weird saying it. But I'm broke, so I made a DIY pipette. So that's what I did. I cut a bottle. I cut a star shape in the middle, the front of it, the cap of it. I took a bag. I didn't find those Ziploc bags, okay? So don't come for me. I took a Ziploc bag or like a bag that we use. And you know what um, the Haitian best bakery thingy thing is? You know that you get your, your bread, your Haitian bread in this type of bag. So our Haitian bread was done. So I was like, let me use this bag. I rinsed it out. So sanitize your stuff first. I rinsed it out and then I put the little cap in there. So this is my DIY pipette. But before, I'm gonna cut it a little bit because I feel like it's too, it's too big for the amount of dough I have. So I'm gonna cut it a little bit. And basically, yeah, this is my pipette, my pipette. So, while this, I wanna see if this thing is hot now, okay, I think it should be. 
Y'all hear that? 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 Let me start. If y'all can hear that, that's how you know it's hot. It's hot, y'all. If y'all can hear that little sizzling, that's how you know it's ready to be used. So what we're gonna do now, you're gonna wanna take your little pipette and get your dough. I'm gonna go ahead and get my dough from the freezer that I put in there to cool down. Y'all can see it. You're gonna wanna get your dough, get your little pipette, and you are gonna wanna put it, wait, before we do that, before we do that, before we do that, I'm sorry y'all. Get your sugar, add my sugar here. Get your sugar, don't use a lot, just use a lot, okay? You wanna take your sugar. There, I think that's good enough. Take your cinnamon, I do not have a lot of cinnamon, so I'm gonna be using a, a good amount of cinnamon, but not a lot, a lot. Here's my cinnamon, guys. I have the small looking ones. So, take your sugar, take your cinnamon, spread it. Y'all can't even see. Spread it, spread it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it in there, baby! I need to buy more cinnamon. And you want to shake it all together like this. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. This look delicious, not going to lie with you. This look delicious. Do y'all see that? Boom, we have our little base thing. So... Now, let's put the stuff inside of the pipette. Um, I don't know how it's going to go. I really hope this don't fail because, y'all, I worked so hard on this. Let me stop. I, this took like five minutes. But I'm going to put you guys right here just so you can see me put the stuff in the pipette. So, I'm going to take your pipette. And I guess, am I supposed to pour it in here or like what? Oh, my God. Why is it so hard? I'm gonna wait out of time because I don't want to squeeze it in there. Hey! Ah! Tastes good though. Okay, I have to put you guys right here just so you guys can see everything, but I have my little. Anyway, I have my little thing right here. I'm gonna put it right here. Right there. And then, let me just get my pipette. So I have my pipette here, and I have some of the batter. I didn't want to fill all of it in the batter. It's because I feel like, I don't know. So. I'm so scared right now, y'all. I'm terrified with that flash. It is going to go wrong. Um, okay, where's the... So I have this to lift it up. So I have this bowl. I have this plate. I'm going to put it right here with some paper on top of it. So once I come, once it comes from the oil, I can put it right on top of this. So let me get some paper. My paper here so let's just start i'm so scared right now put it in low just because you don't want your thing to burn so fast y'all ready y'all boys ready i'm like scared right now because i don't know how this batter diy pipette's gonna go let's start squeeze man squeeze oh shoot i have to squeeze it damn it squeeze squeeze This pipette is so trash. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. It doesn't even. Oh, this looks so bad. How do you make a deal with like that? Back to you. I'm gonna go ask Siri how you make a DIY pipette, okay? Okay, so at this point, there's really nothing I can do because everyone's kind of using the same recipe with a Ziploc bag. Oh my phone, my, my phone's about to die. But everyone's using the same recipe, which is with the Ziploc bag. And I literally do not have any type of Ziploc bag, so I don't see how I can make this work. But I guess I'm just gonna continue using this because there's really nothing I can do about this. Because, baby girl. I guess I'm going to add the rest of the um, batter just because it's like, sis, just add it in the back. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can do this instead. Can you stay away from the damn stove? Like, come on now. Okay. What can I do? I don't know what to do. But, oh my God, this looks like it's going to be a fail again, low key. 
All my cook, all my bacon goes to fail. Like I don't get it. I really don't get it. Like what's going on? Let's try again, shall we? Yo, this is like oh my god. Do y'all see my misery? Like I don't get it. And this damn bottle cap thing is already <gasps> Let me see if this is working. Oh my gosh, it's popping everywhere. <laughs> Slow key is looking good though, not gonna lie. It's looking good. Might not look like a Cheerio, but it's looking good. Oh my gosh, it's spilling everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna try to make a ball Cheerio. Let's see if that works. Like, it might not look like a Cheerio, but it looks like a ball glue. So, let's see if that would work. I'm gonna try to make the neatest ball ever. No, let me let me stop. I feel like I feel like if it wasn't for if I had the materials, I wouldn't be this bad. I'm being so honest with you. If I had the materials that I that you would need to make the the, the items, it wouldn't be this bad. Cause my mom doesn't bake like that, so she don't have a whole bunch of baking materials, but she still have materials. If you know what I mean. So. I don't know, I just feel like if I had all the materials, it would, I would have been top notch. Top notch chef, right? Okay, okay. Kind of looks like a Cheerio, I guess. <laughs> Y'all, help, help us this out. Like, help us this out. It's looking good, though. Like, this is how the first Cheerio went. It, it looks dis discombobulated for sure, but it's not like it's looking bad or anything. It doesn't look like it's not edible, if you know what I mean. So, I'm not even mad at it. I'm not. I'm going to let this start. I'm going to try to make, when I'm done cooking all the Cheerios. Oh my God, this is spread everywhere. Anyway, when I'm done cooking all the little thing things, I'm going to get back to you guys. But the video is already getting long enough. So, yeah. This how it's looking so far. This is how these are looking. This is how this is looking. This is the mess I made. Do y'all see this mess I made? Oh my gosh. Well, anyway, this is looking good. This one looking thick. Period. Alright, y'all. So I'm done frying my Cheerios. And it turned out it turned out good. It look, they look good. Like they look golden and crispy and stuff. But the way they're supposed to be long and Cheerio-ish, it doesn't look like Cheerios. It looks like balls of just just balls of Oh my gosh so this is how they look but i have to still have to dip them inside of the sugar pasture whatever this thing is called so you have your cinnamon in here and you have everything else so i'm gonna dip each of them in here and shake 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 should i add a lid to it i should probably add a lid to it let me find my lid okay so i got my lid to it Check, 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 check. Covered. Oh, yes. The way this one is covered is delicious. Now, let's put all my other ones in here. I'm not going to put too much in here at a time because I want each of them to get even amount of sugar. Okay, now we're going to take them out. So, remember how I looked before? Now it looks 10 times darker, you see? They look good. Uh, I really hope these things will actually taste good. I think they taste good though because the batter, I taste the batter because you have to always make sure you taste your batter because sometimes you have you might need to add more salt, more sugar, more flour, whatever the case may be. But you have to always make sure you taste your batter even though you'd be like, but you have eggs in it, stamalella, stam how you pronounce it, stamalella, whatever the case may be. Just take a little dip, it won't hurt you. Just just make sure your batter is good, right? So now that we have our these ones done, well, it looks delicious. Like, I'm not even going to cap with you guys. These things look good. Look at all the sugar I have left. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top of them. Okay. These are my Cheerios. Are you guys ready for the final, final, final reviewing of them? 
this is how they look finally these are my cheerios hopefully y'all can see it clearly i'm going to show you guys how it looks from the back camera so you guys can see everything in the details and all that stuff all right y'all so this is how the cheerios are looking i just had to get you guys the details so y'all can see everything yes sir these look good even though they're not shaped like cheerios but they low-key look good they look good y'all can't even front with me especially this one this one look delicious Y'all see this, y'all? Y'all see the cinnamon and everything? Yes, sir. I had to give you guys a detailed look. The detailed look. Yes, sir. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Hey, yes, sir. Let's go. So now we're going to go ahead and call my brothers, as we all know, so they can go ahead and review this. I already know I got my little mini judges here, my brothers. So let's go ahead and call them. Michael Raiden! They ain't coming. I guess I have to go to them then. Hi. So I have my little um, judges here. So they're going to be going to taste my Cheerios. Grab one. Let me taste this salt. No, let me taste this one. Don't take a big one just in case you don't like it. Take a small one, Ben. Mm. Well, dang, you don't like it? At this point, I quit baking. I, I, can't, I literally cannot bake. Did y'all did see Michael face? Michael said, I can't. I ain't making no more y'all. <laughs> okay, how about you, Brennan? He don't say the same thing. Mm. Mm. I like it. Mm. You have no taste, that's why. Mm. It's okay. You can get my viewing. It's good. I know, right? It's good, right? This one just had no tasting. It's good. Look, this sugar piece right here. It actually tastes good. Mm. It's just the sugar. The sugar makes it like too salty. Too salty or sugary? Yeah, too sugary. So I add too much sugar? Yeah. On this one. Thank you. Bye. Dear. Thank you very much. Okay, y'all. So I'm not mad at it. I think it tastes really good for um from scratch because this was from scratch basically. Um, but yeah, um, Michael just had no taste. Like, okay, it's whatever. He can have whatever his opinion on it. But I think I did good, and so did Brayden. So as this being my first time making Cheerios, I did good. I did pretty good. It's edible. I can eat it. It's not salty, it's not nasty, it's not none of that. I think it's good. So, this is my first time making Cheerios, so don't come for me, y'all. Just don't come for me. Once I get pop pets, once I get a popping bag and all that stuff, I'll be good to go. Once I get all the ingredients I needed, I'll be good to go. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, like always. And if you're new to my channel, like I always say, hit that subscribe button so you can so you won't make want so you won't miss another banger fun. Another banger video like this because our videos be fun. I'm trying to post daily for you guys. So hopefully this video will be posted by today. Today is Thursday, I believe. So is it Thursday? Yeah, today's Thursday. So hopefully this video will be both bleh. Hopefully this video will be posted to you guys by today. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this and wash some dishes because obviously I made a lot of mess. But I still I don't have that much dishes to be honest. I have like three 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 dishes. But yeah, I think I did a good job. I love you guys so much. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. I love you guys so, so much. And remember to be yourself. Because no one else around the world is going to be you. For you. And I'm out. Mama, party girl. She just want to fall.